Hey guys, this is Luis D and you are with Phone Arena. When we think of Samsung, it's usually the flagship phones that come to mind. But it's actually the less designed and specs intense ones like the ones from the Galaxy J and the Galaxy A series that make up the bulk of Samsung smartphone shipments. Still, it's not easy being a Galaxy J these days for there are many low margin vendors that seem to offer more value for less cash. Can the new Galaxy J5 convince you to pick it up instead of a comparably priced handset from another brand? Well, it looks like we'll have to see about that. With its symmetric and tastefully scooped metal frame, the J5 is worthy of the Galaxy branding. While the removable plastic back panel does reveal the handset's cost-efficient origins, nothing about the construction feels like an afterthought. The handset feels tightly put together and reasonably comfortable in the palm with its sculpted edges and balanced weight. We think the power and volume keys are placed a tad too high, but we can live with this. The keys handle fine and so does the home button below the screen, which doesn't contain a fingerprint sensor, but it can swiftly launch the camera app in two quick presses. Also of note is the presence of an actual LED flash next to the selfie camera. On the back panel resides a bumpy camera with a single LED flash on the right and speaker holes placed to the left. Below we find a mic, a micro USB port and, praise the skies, a 3.5mm jack. When it comes to the display, a 720p resolution screen like the one on the Galaxy J5 doesn't sound very compelling in the age of 1080p screens. But tell you what, this 5.2 inch Super AMOLED screen looks surprisingly good. Image quality is sharp and clear, while the various display modes let you quickly switch between color accurate or larger than life hues. Although colors are close to home, the screen does exhibit unremarkable contrast with whites being brighter than needed and causing a slightly washed out look. The maximum brightness output isn't strong enough for comfortable usage in bright sunlight and different viewing angles tend to skew the colors. Still, the J5 screen performs admirably for the price point. Talking about the user experience, the Galaxy J5 ships with a dated Android 5.1 Wallipop version. However, it is treated to the latest security patches, which is fairly reassuring. It is skinned with Samsung's bespoke TouchWiz interface, the software's only significant flaw is performance. The Galaxy J5 lacks the fluidity and responsiveness of similarly priced devices running lighter Android builds. This unsavory part aside, we commend Samsung for not piling up bloatware applications on the handset. The little in the way of stock software, such as the Galaxy App Store and the Smart Manager maintenance app, we find useful. Reaching the hardware department, the handset is based on Qualcomm's Snapdragon 410 chipset, which is designed to be low cost and energy efficient. It's paired with 2GB of RAM and 16GB of expandable internal storage. 3D games like Asphalt Nitro are playable, but image quality is downgraded and gameplay generally stutters. Less intense titles like Candy Crush Saga will be good to go though. On the side of connectivity, the Galaxy J5 is a dual SIM handset that actually lets you use two SIM cards and a micro SD card simultaneously, unlike many of its competitors. It's able to handle Verizon and Sprint's 3G networks, but LTE is only possible over at Sprint's and limited to band 41. Other than the limited network support, the phone presents a well-rounded connectivity package courtesy of its Qualcomm modem. Browsing on the Galaxy J5 is good for the most part. Pages load reasonably fast and navigation is fairly smooth considering the handset's limited performance. And now, about the camera. Knowing customers' love for photography, Samsung equipped the Galaxy J5 with a competent camera setup. Samsung's camera app can be called up quickly by double pressing the home button. It performs fast enough to not be a hindrance and it takes proper advantage of the sensor by presenting manual controls and crowd pleaser modes like beauty face, sound and shot and sports. The omission of HDR photos is questionable though. The Galaxy J5 captures rich though oversaturated colors and clear details. Landing a decent shot is easy but it didn't take too long for the camera to reveal its flaws. Notably, it struggles to expose images correctly upon manually tapping to focus. 
but all things considered, the J5's camera does punch beyond its price tag. Indoor shots revealed another inconsistency in the form of poor focus. We often ended up with blurry and badly exposed images. However, if artificial light is strong and abundant, the camera will bring the goods at the expense of slightly washed out colors. It also produced quite satisfactory results in complete darkness thanks to engaging the flash. The noise filtering is handled remarkably well and the LED's illumination is strong and even. We also tried the selfie flash, concluding that its presence is undermined by the poor front camera which doesn't focus reliably and outputs soft, smeary photos. Checking out the video recording, the Galaxy J5's cameras record videos in up to 1080p 30fps resolution. Unsurprisingly, 4K video recording and playback is unsupported. The image quality is decent, but the videos are very shaky due to weak image stabilization. The tap to focus feature takes its sweet time to get objects in front of the lens in focus, sometimes failing to do so after repeated attempts. The camera is also slow to return to focus once the near distance object is moved out of the way. Sound quality is good, although the noise filtering comes off as too subtle and loud blasts of racket aren't properly attenuated. The Galaxy J5 is a fine phone for multimedia, as the 5.2 inch display 720p resolution doesn't get in the way of enjoying photos, videos, games and browsing. The screen is appropriately sized and the four different display modes let you make the most of its qualities, dialing up the color intensity for movies or bringing them back to reality when showcasing photographs and artworks. The headphone amplifier and loudspeaker are also sufficiently powerful for most users' needs. A few words about the call quality, voices on both ends of the line come through clear with the Galaxy J5, even if they don't sound pristine due to the noise filtering. The earpiece and loudspeaker are both sufficiently loud, letting you hear talks personally or beam them to the whole room. All in all, the new Galaxy J5 is a perfectly fine phone for making calls. And on the ever so important topic of battery life, a battery life champion the J5 is not, but it is among Samsung's longer lasting Galaxy phones with the 8 hours and 41 minutes of constant on-screen use we recorded in our custom battery test. Alas, the phone is very slow to charge, taking 153 minutes to fill up with the bundled charger. While the new Galaxy J5 does cover the essentials, it does so with a minimum amount of design flair and hardware power needed. With its Asian and European pricing, the handset becomes easy prey for comparably priced alternatives like the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 and the Meizu M3 Note. And over in Europe, one can find excellent mid-range phones like the new Huawei P9 Lite and the LG 5X. They're both better in every way and priced in a very similar ballpark. Next to these phones, the new Galaxy J5 really doesn't look all that impressive. Well, this is it guys. I hope you enjoyed watching our review. For more quality content, subscribe to phonearena.com's YouTube channel and visit our website. This is Luis D. It was a pleasure presenting to you.